What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Blastoise from Pokemon. Let's begin in the top center of our page with the bridge of the nose. We're gonna start over on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up. And we'll just bend that down on the right side. Now let's add in the nostrils. On the left, curve this in and then down. Go over towards the right and do the same thing. And then just down below, draw a short line going across. Let's tuck the brow in behind the nose, leaving a gap in the center. Go over towards the left side, curve this in and up. Go to the right and do the same thing. And I'm gonna draw on the top edge of the eyelid, starting back on the left, curve the eye going up and then out. Go to the right. Let's round out the side of the eye. On the left, we're gonna step in, curve out and then down. Now we're gonna create an overlap, stepping out, curve in and then down in behind the bridge of the nose. Let's tuck the pupils underneath the eyelid. On the left side, we're gonna draw an oval, coming down and then up, and then do the same thing on the right. Let's add a small highlight on the top left side of the pupils, coming down and up. And now we're gonna move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. We're gonna start over on the left side, curve the mouth. Now we're gonna move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Starting over on the left, curve this up towards the nose, and then back down. And then we'll curve the mouth back up, going out and up, aiming towards the eyes. Now from here we're gonna move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. Let's line up with the top edge of the brow, step out towards the left side, curve the head going out, and then down, go over towards the right, and do the same thing, coming down towards the same height. Let's connect the bottom with a curve. We're gonna bring this down in the middle, round out the chin, and then pull that back up. Let's go back to the top corners of the mouth, curve this out, and then down towards the bottom of the head. Now let's place the ears on the side of the head, starting on the top left, that you're going out and then bend that up and I'll curve this in and then down toward the top of the head. Now you want to layer the top of the head above the ears. From the inside, step down, curve up and then in. Do the same thing on the right side and I'll curve this in and then down towards the middle. Let's add a fold above the brow. On the left side, curve this up and out. And do the same thing on the right. Now you want to trace out the inside of the ear. Starting on the left, we're going to step in. Just follow that same curve coming down. Curve up and in. Connect the outside to the inside with a slight curve. Now with the head in place, let's draw that trim around the shoulders. Starting from the base of the ear, curve the trim going out and then down. Let's add another bump, going around the shoulder and then down towards the arm. Let's draw the inside edge of the arm socket. Starting back on the left, curve this in and then bend that back out. Now from here, we're gonna work our way around the outside of the arms. Starting from the bottom left, curve the arm going out and then down. Let's round up the arm, coming around and then pulling that up. Now we're gonna curve the arm coming back up and in towards the top of the socket. We're going up and then bending that in. Let's finish adding that trim along the inside of the arm. Starting from the bottom, curve this down. Just follow the curve of the arm coming back up and then out. And we'll tuck this trim back up and in behind the side of the head. 
Let's go back to the top of the shoulder on the inside, add another curve coming in. And it'll fill that inside area in black. Now we're gonna go back down and add in the claws. Let's start with the one on the inside, starting with the curve going up and down like a half circle. And then from the outside, come down and out. And then taper that back up towards the inside. Now let's add two more claws on the outside. Starting from the left, curve out and then down. Taper that back in. And leave a small gap and add one more. Now let's add two seams across the inside of each arm. Starting from the inside of the left arm, curve up and then bend that out. Let's line this up on the right, going up and out. Let's step up and do that again, going up and out. Now from here we're going to work our way down towards the legs. Start from the bottom of that trim, start by curving this in and then out. And then we'll curve the inside leg coming in and then down. Let's draw two straight lines coming down towards the first claw. And they'll add in the socket, starting back on the left, curve out, and then down towards the bottom of the foot. From the bottom, curve this in and then down. And they'll pull that back up and in towards the top of the socket. Let's add a larger claw on the outside, starting from the bottom, curve this up, and then back down like a half circle. And then from the ends, curve down and then in towards the middle. From the outside of that center claw, curve the third claw going out and then down. And it'll curve this up towards the top and then back down on the inside. Now we're going to go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Let's start on the left. I'm going to curve this out, come down, and then in on top of the last claw. Let's separate the top of the leg. Start on the left, curve this down, and then up on the inside, and we'll line this up on the right. From the inside, curve this in and up towards the top of the leg. Now we're going to connect the inside of the leg with a curve, coming down and then back up. Let's finish off the side of the trim, starting underneath the arm, curve this out and back in on top of the legs. Let's go back and add those three curves across the body, starting from the left shoulder, curve this down in the middle and then back up on the right. Go back to the inside of the left trim, add another curve coming down and then up. Add one more in between the legs. Let's add the end of the tail over on the right side. Starting from the side of the leg, curve this down and out. Come down and back in. Now we're going to go back up to the top and add those two large cannons. Let's start on the left side, we draw a circle. Going all the way around towards the bottom. And then back up towards the top. Let's line this up on the right side and do the same thing coming around towards the bottom, and then back up. Let's trace each of the circles along the inside. Now going to the top right of the left circle, draw a straight angle line coming down and in behind the body. Do the same thing on the right. Now you want to taper the cannon so it gets narrower as you come in towards the body. Let's start from the bottom left, just angle this down 
and in. Let's add a seam along the inside. Starting from the bottom, add a curve. Coming around and then up. Step down and draw that twice. Now from the inside of the cannon, draw another angled line coming down and in towards the top of the shoulders. And it'll fill the inside in black. And then from the bottom of the cannon, draw a short angle line coming down and out. Angle this back down and in behind the shoulders. And it'll fill the inside in black. Let's trace the cannon housing along the outside, starting underneath the ear. Curve this up and out. Draw a straight angle line coming down and out in behind the cannon. Let's continue that line along the outside. And then we're going to curve this down and back in behind the arms on the left and right. And there we have it. There's a drawing of Blastoise. Now let's grab some markers and I'll show you how to color this in. Let's begin by filling the inside of the cannons in black. And then we'll fill the cannons with this medium gray. And then the outside of the cannons with this dark brown. I'm going to fill the bottom of the eyes with red and then going back and filling the inside of the ears in black. Now you want to add a highlight along the top of the head and the body. So using this light blue, just going all the way across and then along the top of the ears. We'll add that highlight across the top edge of the nose and then the arms. Working our way down towards the hands and then rounding that out. Add a highlight on top of the left leg and on the side of the right leg. And then with this slightly darker cool gray, I'm just going to fill in the rest of the head and body. Working our way around those highlights. And go back to our light blue-gray and fill in the trim around the body. And then with the skin tone color, we'll fill in the bottom of the head and the body. And filling in all the claws with this warm gray. Let's go back with this darker gray blue and add a shadow across the inside of the arms and the legs. And finally the bottom edge of the mouth and then adding a darker shadow across the bottom edge of the body. And then underneath the head. And there we have it. That's how we draw and color Blastoise from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.